Hi, how are you doing? Thanks very much for tuning in. Mark here. Great to have your company on another of my time lapse restoration videos. I'll just let you watch through these before shots and I'll be right back with you to explain what we've got today. And here we go then, restoration is underway, all taped up, gloves on, ready to tackle another troubled headlight. And on with the first stage which is of course the dry sanding, more on that in just a bit. But before I go any further, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thanks very much to everyone who has subscribed to me so far, I really do appreciate it. The weekend before last I was on 998 subscribers and it was on that figure for quite a while and it sort of felt like I was never going to get to a thousand. But of course it did and I'm really pleased to say it did, so thanks very much. If you're not already subscribed to me then please do so as I've got some great videos lined up that I'm really looking forward to sharing with you all. Onwards and upwards as they say. And sticking with the theme of cheesy catchphrases, this job reminds me of the one about London buses, where you wait around forever for one to turn up and then two turn up at once. How so? Well, if you're familiar with my channel, then you'll know that it wasn't too long ago I worked on a Chrysler Crossfire SRT6 for a really nice guy called Tony. The full time-lapse video for that can also be found here on my channel. The headlights on the SRT6 were typically cloudy and just not very nice looking, but Tony also owns another Chrysler Crossfire. Surprise, surprise, this one. Identical in colour, but this is the hardtop non-SRT6 version. Well, I'm really pleased to say that Tony was so happy with the work I carried out on his SRT6 headlights that he invited me back to work on these ones. But there's a bit of a difference though. The SRT6 had typically cloudy, untampered headlights, but this one, Tony had had a go at restoring them himself. And to be fair, he did a reasonable job. They were clearer looking than they were cloudy and he too thought he'd done a pretty good job until he'd seen my restoration on the SRT6 headlights. And as you'll see later on in this video, after I've restored one of these headlights, I then did a side-by-side -side video comparison between that restored headlight by myself and Tony's restoration attempt. And I think you'll see there's quite a difference, but that is why I do what I do. Talking about doing what I do, let's just have a little check in on the restoration and see what's going on. Okay, so it looks to me like I'm, yeah, I'm on stage two, first of the two wet hand sanding stages. Now, for those of you who have watched any of my time lapse restoration videos before, some of you may well be aware of the fact that I've got a bit of a microfiber cloth OCD thing going on. That quite simply means that for certain stages, I only use certain color cloths. A little bit sad, but it helps keep me in order as I'm working through a job. This stage then, stage two of the three hand sanding stages, is the pink cloth. Now I'm not sure just how much attention you may have paid to the uh, shots at the beginning of this video showing the headlights in their unrestored state, but they were actually quite scratched. When you look closely, there were scratches all over the place and in all different directions. They were so bad in some places that they actually looked cloudy. So the very first video that you'll see at the end of the time lapse part of this video is of that side by side comparison that I spoke about. I definitely think it was worth doing because when I pull back and you see the car from the front from a distance, it's amazing how different the headlights look. Yet to the untrained eye, in, in many respects, those restored by Tony headlights actually didn't look that bad. But the difference, like I say, is, uh, is quite noticeable. And I think it's also worth pointing out the fact that until you've actually seen firsthand my restoration take place, you don't really appreciate how long it takes. I know Tony certainly does now. 
and I'm grateful not only of course for his repeat custom, but also for his gratitude towards my work and fully appreciating the time and effort that I put in to get the results that I do. It really does make me happy. You look at the headlights in the state that they were left by himself and it doesn't look like they're that far away. But really, it's, it's the same as anything. Preparation is the key to it. So you have to go right back before you can go forward. And that is what takes the time to make sure the job is done properly. This restoration you're watching here probably took me the best part of two hours, probably about an hour and 45 minutes to be fair. So it was reasonably straightforward in the scheme of headlight restorations that I've carried out in over the years. But it still takes quite a bit of time. You, you can't take something and just patch it up. You have to go right back to get something that's worth polishing and sealing. And talking of polishing, we're not too far away from polishing this headlight as far as I can tell. I've got the yellow microfiber out, so that can only mean one thing. We're on the final hand sanding stage. So a super clear, great looking headlight isn't that far away. And it's worth pointing out that I actually worked on the headlight on the other side first. So the comparison video that I've been going on about will show you that headlight clear and this headlight still in its scratch state. Just so you're not too confused when you get to the end of this video. It's kind of back to front, but uh, it's just the way it worked out. These days, whenever I work on a set of headlights, so I've got two to work on, I'll always film one landscape time-lapse and one portrait time-lapse. And that gives me the opportunity to make the short videos for YouTube as well. Which, incidentally, I've got a lot more of those on my channel than I have these long videos. So whenever you get a chance, check those out as well. And there we go. The compound is on. The machine polishing, first of the two machine polishing stages. You really start to see that headlight come through clear now. Look forward to those after videos, because these really did turn out quite spectacularly clear. Giving us another great result for Tony and his crossfire. Crossfire number two, no less. Unfortunately, sometimes the plastic on the inside has marks or is a bit misted and there's nothing I can do about that. So it lets the job down. You still end up with a nice result, but not super, super clear. Well, that certainly wasn't the case for these and they ended up absolutely crystal clear. As did the headlights on Tony's SRT6. And thinking about it, I've done a couple other crossfires over the years and they've all ended up exactly the same. Never any issues on the inside which is always great to see because then all the effort I've put on the outside really does pay off. Okay then, final polishing, soon to be sealing, and then not too long and you'll get to see those after videos. I really hope you enjoy those and indeed all the extra shots I've added of this great looking car. Thanks once again to Tony for his repeat custom, very much appreciated and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching, have a great day and I'll see you next time.
And that is what I do. Please like and subscribe. Rest assured, there's plenty more to come.